Hello everybody, my name is Michael Wyatt from Fire for Hire LLCs here in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, we're one of the top recording studios in Michigan and um, I'm here to help you guys find the Temple in Pro Tools. This has to be one of the easiest ways, I haven't seen one easier, but um, if you do, let me know. Here we go, in order to find the Temple, you got this little marker right here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to place that at the one measure of the song, wherever it first comes in, which would probably be right here. Um, we got, what's this, uh, Wiz Khalifa, Black and Yellow Instrumental. I'm going to find the tempo to that real quick. All right, we're going to zoom in right here. Now, for, to do this, you need to be able to see the grid lines. I don't know if you can see in the back right here, there's no grid lines. So you're going to uh, have to come over here to bars and beats and click that and now you see you can see the lines now. Now put it on grid once you find the, the beginning right here. Um, put it right there. You want to get right on the beginning now. And put it on grid. Once you put it on grid, you can see you know the grid right here. Now the key, the trick to the whole thing is you gotta come up here to window and you gotta pull up your transport. When you get that up, you can see this little guy right here, the conductor guy. See him right here, little conductor. You gotta turn him, turn that off, and see the tempo which is opened up. You can just move it around and stuff. Now, see, you got the marker in the beginning of the song. So, what you want to do is, I'm gonna kind of line this graph up with that, and you can do that by uh, listening to the beat and find where the measure, uh, you know, the first, second, third bar is, by looking at these waves right here. You can see when the beat comes in. Right here, this is like the kick or whatever. Just a little time. That would kind of be in the place of the snare. So, you know, the beat would be like one, two, three, four, two. And you can see down here, you can see the graph. So, click on grid so you can see it real good. And you just take this little tempo guy. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull this down until it matches up with the grid. See the grid kind of getting in line now? See, it should almost snap right in place once you get close. See, that's pretty good. Now, um, to see if it's on, what I do all the way, I, I just go ahead and I fast forward to the end of it like this. And you can kind of see how it's still lining up. If the very last bar, if you loop it, um, kind of like this and if it, if it loops you got to come up here and make sure it's on loop playback and if, if it is on loop and it loops right then you know everything's right and then there you go you would have the tempo I found it was a uh, 82 and once you have the tempo you can do a lot of little cool things like you know take a drop put it somewhere else like right here but you know you can pretty much do whatever you want once you get the tempo I'm gonna do another one for you guys just so you can see if you didn't catch that um, I'm gonna hide that make that inactive and uh, I got a what's this a little Wang a Millie all right this one it's a little different because it has like an intro piece so uh, Oh, can't hear you. I unmuted. Here you go. You see, you got the little tag. Well, you see, the beat comes in right there. And if, if you zoom a little closer, you can kind of see the snare right there. They're kind of fake, but you can see it. So that's what you gotta line it up for. So we're gonna grab that marker. It'd probably be easier just go ahead and put it where the drums drop in. The rest of it, it'll line up right. But just put it right there on that beginning piece. Right there, that's where that, that kick came in when the beat dropped. Put it on grid again. Put it on grid so you can see it. See this one. I'm going to do this one double time because a lot of you guys like double time, so I'm going to speed it up. Um, try to figure it out. 
I think it's about right there. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about right almost. Let's see. I'm gonna click right here. Oops. You see it's on right there, so if you come all the way out here, and it looks like it's still on. You know you're good. Just loop this bar. Oops. Do it like this. There you go. See, it's on. That's how you find the tempo in Pro Tools. Hope you guys liked it.